Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Volkswagen has certainly had their ups and downs in recent years, but their current approach of making larger, more comfortable vehicles and then selling them to Americans at attractive prices is a real crowd pleaser. So let's see how that tactic works for their all-new compact utility, the Tiguan. The first thing you notice about the all-new second-generation 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan is how mega roomy it is inside. It may still be considered a compact crossover, but the feel is far more mid-sized, being clearly aimed at American buyers. In fact, it is even built just south of our border in Mexico. Now, the first-gen Tiguan was imported from Europe, and while on sale here for 10 years, it was never very popular. The new Tiguan still looks a little like the original, but VW's modern angular theme is much more in play now. The very long rear doors not only speak to all the space inside, but indicate the Tiguan now rides on a stretched wheelbase version of VW's flexible MQB platform. It's more than 10 inches longer overall than before. Inside, the front seats may appear flat and painful, but actually, it's the opposite that is true. They are firm, but comfort is excellent. Plus, there are plenty of adjustments and getting in and out is very easy. Our SE tester is just one step up from base trim, yet features an eight inch touchscreen, push button start, dual automatic climate control, a host of safety features, and leather at seat covers. It's in the second row that you experience all that extra space the most, Legroom is equal to many midsize entries, and seats back here are very cozy as well. Need more seats? A third row is standard in front-wheel drive Tiguans, optional with all-wheel drive. But alas, this may be one roomy compact, but it is still a compact. The third row's two seats are only usable for small children, but at least they do offer it. With those seats folded, the cargo bay is also spacious, of course, but there's an unevenness to the space due to the folding third row that keeps it from being as efficiently packaged as it could be. Still, 33 cubic feet is quite good, maxing out at 65.7 with the standard 40-20-40 second row seats folded. No power liftgate on our SE trim, SEL and above only but the very light hatch virtually lifts on its own anyway. The Tiguan is not exactly stimulating or high-tech looking inside, but is highly functional and intuitive. The larger touchscreen found in all but base S trim is much easier to use. The radio sounds very good, and gauges are clear and simplistic as always with VW. Power comes from a revised 2-liter turbo I-4 with standard auto stop start. Horsepower is down from 200 to 184, but torque is up from 207 to 221 pound-feet. It has adequate guts to move the Tiguan's 3,800 pounds, but some may wish for more. We surely did at our test track where the Tiguan jogged to 60 in 8.8 .8 seconds. It certainly didn't help that it immediately cuts power at even a hint of wheel spin. Power builds slowly down the track, and the engine sounds pretty decent, but otherwise it's an unremarkable 16.8 second quarter mile trip that finishes at 84 miles per hour. Tiguan redeems itself through the cones, however, with quick steering and a nimble chassis, like a slightly heavier golf wagon, which essentially it is. No surprise, brakes performed well, 118 feet from 60 to zero with a short travel, firm, confidence-inspiring pedal. Two-wheel drive government fuel economy ratings are 22 city, 27 highway, and 24 combined. Pricing starts at a reasonable $25,495 at $1,300 for all-wheel drive. With the new Tiguan and the larger Atlas, Volkswagen is clearly pulling out all the stops to gain U.S. market share. 
Launching two three-row SUVs in short order is very bold, and backing them up with a six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty is very smart. The cosmetics may be unremarkable, but the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan is a comfy, highly useful, competent handling, well thought out, and yes, American style crossover. To us, it sure looks like VW is fast becoming the Honda of German cars.